Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I have a very special guest here with me today, which is Keith L. Jones. He is a businessman and an entrepreneur. And today we're actually going to discuss how you can apply some of those particular skill sets, your businessmen and entrepreneurial skills, and you can incorporate them into your relationship. Now, Sometimes you actually hear that taking your work home with you can be detrimental. And for the most part, that actually is true. But in this particular case, there are certain skill sets that you can take home and apply them and incorporate them into your relationship that can, that can actually help your relationship and make it that much more fulfilling and that much more um, interesting and well-rounded. If you are watching our content on Keith L. Jones' channel, let me just briefly tell you that my channel offers thought-provoking relationship content, which is why we're discussing relationships and business today. And it makes you think, which is why I said thought-provoking. It definitely makes you think, and, and it makes you want to do better. And, and it also makes you want to apply these new skill sets within your relationship because a lot of us want to have better relationships, healthier relationships, romantic relationships those relationships that we can be proud of. So if you're interested in learning more about that, make sure you check out my channel on youtube.com slash I love me, 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 which is I L M E M E M E. If you're watching this on my channel, definitely go ahead and check out Keith's channel. If you are interested in learning new business skills and entrepreneurial skills, make sure that you check out his channel. All of his all of his information will be in my description box below and all of my information will be in his description box below. Make sure you check me out on social media as well. So now, Keith, is there anything else that you want to offer before we get started? Yes, if you're watching this show on, you know, uh, I, Me, Me, Me's channel, you can get in contact with me on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash D, the number four, O-U-R-G. Or Google me on YouTube, Keith L. Jones, a.k.a. The Coach. I'm ready. You got me in the hot seat over here, sister. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So why would you apply your business knowledge to attaining a healthy romantic relationship? All right, great. That's, a, that's actually a great question. Um, the reason why I would apply my business business knowledge to attain a healthy relationship because you know anything that we do nowadays the way my mind is you know focused on life is a business you know it's a partnership when you get married so you know when it comes down to it a marriage or a relationship is the emotional business you know you got to invest things into that relationship in order for it to reap the benefits and the rewards. So as you go along in business, you learn different strategies and techniques, and you can pretty much use that within a relationship. You know, you have to build that relationship. You have to nurture it. You have to, you know, expect certain rewards from that relationship. And if you're not, you know, receiving those types of ROIs, return on investment, you know, it's not a healthy relationship. If you know, in, in, in the nutshell, you have to apply what you learn in life and business into a relationship to have it blossom and to grow. Because a relationship of marriage is one of the biggest, you know, businesses there are. That's why you signed a paper. <laughs> so those are really great points that you brought up. So the next question. In relationships and in business, there are risks, right? So how do you know when it's time to move forward or to walk away from a relationship? Well, first, to piggyback off my last answer, what is basically if your I O, I mean, I'm sorry, your ROI, your return on investment is not high enough. If you're always putting in, putting into a relationship and you're not receiving anything back on your investment to that relationship, well, that's a clear cut sign that it's time to move forward. Um, in certain relationships, slash businesses, you know, the two parties just don't match. They, they you know, everyone want to be a chief and no one want to be an Indian. And, um, you know, somebody has to lead. Somehow, someone has to, you know, follow. I'm not saying that person has to lead every 100% of the time. Well, it might be certain situations where, 
you know, the male has to lead, you know, finances, you know, sports for the chip, whatever the case may be. In certain um, situations where the female has to lead, clothing, style, the house, things of that nature. So if your needs are not getting met, being met, if your business, your relationship is not growing and producing fruit, that's a clear cut sign that it's time to move forward. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Okay. That's really good, too. You got so, me over here drinking now. I'm just saying, you got me over here drinking <laughs> now. So got you in the hot seat, so now you drink. He been drinking. He been drinking. <laughs> Man, you're right. It absolutely does. So, the third question is, how does a person use their management skills in the relationship so it stays healthy and balanced? So, how would they do that? Well, the biggest part of management skills in business is time management skills. You know, you have to be organized. You have to have set times to do things. So to keep a relationship balanced and healthy, you just have to utilize the, you know, time management skills that you learn from running your business and, in the lack of better words, write in those particular, those particular times to spend with your, your, you know, your significant other. You know, so you might say, you know, Friday, you know what, I'm going to finish everything I got to do by 5 o'clock. From 5 o'clock until whatever date or time you set, that's for you. So you know that Friday is our date night, or whatever the case may be. But you basically learn to utilize your time management skills. Once you control time, you you control the amount of money you make, the amount of investment you put into your relationship how that relationship blossoms because that's where a lot of relationships you know fall to the wayside because of the time factor you know I know if certain um, females I've talked to and spoke with well he don't spend time with me you know you hear it a lot in the the um, music industry they always in the the studio you know he's at the studio to four o'clock in the morning but that person doesn't understand that's when they're most creative you know there is not that they uh, I can say all the time, but it's not like they're, you know, cheating on you. That's their business. That's what they do. However, if you don't have time management skills to work that significant um, other in or even invite them to the studio, they would never know. So controlling your time, you know, if you could control your time in a relationship and schedule, you know, deposits of time to put in with your spouse, you know, you're not going to have a successful relationship. So once you learn how to control your time, you'll be able to, you know, grow a healthy and more balanced relationship, in my opinion. It, that, those are actually really great points, especially, like you said, with the time management. You definitely have to manage your time in any relationship, and really any relationship, not just a romantic one. Like your friendships, your family, every relationship that you have, you have to manage your time and be able to fit them in because that is the only way that the relationship works, and that's any relationship. You have to spend time with your friends. You have to spend time with your spouse. You have to spend time with everybody that's on your list, including the kids and everybody. Everybody has to get a piece of your time. So you're right. You definitely have to manage your time. All right, so. Hey, Mashawn, just to piggyback off that last question, and, you know, I'm just going by my experience, and that's one thing that I can honestly say hurt some relationships in the beginning of my business, you know, endeavors is because I didn't know how to manage my time the way I do now. I was just gun ho I was going 300% because I seen what I want and that's all I cared about at that time because I wanted to change my lifestyle because I seen a vision. But what I realized is as I went along this process, by controlling my time, I will be able to do more things. I wasn't controlling in, in the beginning, in a relationship, in friendships, in, you know, just in life. But as I started learning how to control my time more, I start, my other relationships start blossoming, if that makes sense. It definitely makes sense. And again, that's just the only way that it happens. So I'm very glad that you actually learned the lesson. So in your future relationships, it's not something that you have to worry about, at least managing your time and giving that person time. So that's really good that you, <laughs> that you, that you learned that. Last and final question is, like in business, you may receive multiple offers. So is there a process of elimination when you're choosing between two front running women? And if and if so, then what's the process and 
how do you know that you're choosing the right woman? I'm speaking in, in future tense because I don't have no front runners now and I'm currently single. Okay. But uh, <laughs> one of the questions, you know, uh, it, it really comes down to the mental and where that individual is. It's a lot of people out here that want to live like the Joneses. No point in tent. My last name is Jones. But want to live like the Joneses, but they don't understand what it takes to get to where the Joneses is at. You know, a lot of people, especially females these days, some some males, but majority of females watch these re reality TV shows and see these lives that these reality TV stars, quote unquote stars, are living, but they don't show the struggle it took for them to get there. So um, it really depends on their mental state. And one of the questions that I encourage, I don't know if I should let the cat out the bag, but you know, um, for men to ask is, <clears throat> I would ask the female or females, you know, what's their favorite position? You know, notice I said, what's your favorite position? I didn't say it had to be a sexual position or, you know, whatever the case may be. But just what's your favorite position? Um, depending on where the mindset of that female is, you know, she's going to say something sexual. But that's not what I'm looking for. You know, the answer that I'm looking for is CEO, the position of a CEO. You know, so if someone, uh, I might, like I say, I might have let the cat out the bag. So if you're watching and I ask you, you be like, CEO. Nah, I know you watched that video with me and uh, I mean me <laughs> on there. So, but if, it, if it's two front runners, you know, looks are good. You know, I'm a very, um, uh, I'm a I'm a person that looks on um, physical feature. I love you know. Don't get me wrong, breasts and you know a little bite on them. But it really comes down to uh, you know mental. You know it, it's going to take a person that understands you know what I put myself through and what I'm going through to be able to you know uh, be in a relationship with me because I'm not the typical person out here that's working a nine to five job and. You know, not um, you know when I get home from work, it's 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 over. You know, I'm I run my own business. I'm running, you know, uh, multiple businesses. So I stay up to the wee hours at night before I pass out on my clear screen. So um, it really comes down to where you at mentally. You know, a couple questions that I might ask just to see, hypothetically speaking, questions. You know, just to find out. But if it's one person that you know, if it's two front runners, one doesn't have a business mindset, the other one does. I'm, you know, I'm going with the one that does because they will understand and be able to relate to me more. So, um, but that's me, and I'm attempting to run a business. You know, it might be for somebody else that's just working a job. You know, maybe they don't want to be with someone that's running a business because they want more me time with that person. However, you just got to find, um, my advice would be just find someone that you're compatible with, that's going to have your back, that's going to be there when you know you up and when you down. Because especially in business, you know, I could be down at one moment. I want to ride or die. You know, be with me while I'm down, not only while I'm up. So that's pretty much my answer. You know, I just want to make sure that they're sincere. You know, there's no underlining you know, reasons why they're trying to be in a relationship with me, want me to pay their, their house, their rent, you know what I'm saying? I want to be with a partner. It's a business. A relationship is a business. Let me choose if I'm going to do that for you from the kindness of my heart. And that's my story. So I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> what you said is you, you try to trip her up in the beginning with your hypothetical questions, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, definitely. And, you know, one thing that I do do is, you know, what I'm going through, I'm very transparent of my current situation. And that allevi alleviates a lot of people that's there for the wrong reason anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, my struggle is my struggle. You know, I you might see me, you know, a year from now, but not really realize or recognize what I've been through to get to where I'm at. You know, what I mean, I had to, I had to have a huge slice of humble pie to, you know, continue to go the path I, I'm on currently. So, I definitely just be honest. You know, let people know this is what I'm going through. This is how I'm living. But this is where I see myself in five years. So the real person will stand up. You know, a true female that's all about her king will stand up.
and, you know, present themselves. Well, well, you definitely brought up some key points and uh, definitely you want to find somebody that is there for the right reasons. Absolutely. Uh, I think that a lot of people do get lost in trying to keep up with the jo jo um, trying to keep up with the Joneses, absolutely. But I do think that those are the people that don't have the same type of mindset, especially where you are in life. Um, <laughs> we want somebody that is on the same um, mindset that we're on. So if you're looking for ratchet, you just be pretty much because you're probably ratchet yourself. <laughs> you're ratchet people, but you probably ratchet yourself. Uh, a lot of times we don't look in the mirror and really see the person that's standing there. We try mm -hmm. to blame it on other people. So um, I think that what you're saying is absolutely right. I'm glad that you're learning from your mistakes because absolutely that helps us all out. All right. Thank you very much, Keith, for coming in today and helping us, giving us some tools that we can use within our relationship. Everything that you offered was really great, really great advice. And to our audiences, make sure that you take these um, skill sets in and apply them to your relationship. It's gonna, only going to help you and your relationship become that much better, that much more fulfilling. And if you have not hit that red subscribe button below, make sure you go ahead and do that in order to keep up with my thought-provoking relationship content, as well as a splash of book reviews and a dash of movie reviews. Give us both thumbs up because we will definitely appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.